so impressive to look out at all of you, and I, I think you all know that there is probably a thousand more people who couldn't get in. Um, so have an applause for everyone who's out there. We couldn't be happier to have Elizabeth Warren representing us. Do you want to fight her in your side? One of the things I think that we're reminded of in Massachusetts is that our United States Senators are national figures. You understand that in a few moments the person I'm going to introduce is entirely consistent with that principle. you all are here. I've been proud to be from Massachusetts for a long time. I go down to Washington, I am really proud to be from Massachusetts. Uh, that tax bill gives away more than a trillion and a half dollars to billionaires and giant corporations. You help the rich and the powerful get richer and more powerful and somehow that's America's future. Now, I'm a Democrat, and I don't see it that way. 115 people will die today, leaving children behind sometimes as orphans, leaving parents whose hearts are broken, because America won't spend the money. We can turn this around, knock this problem in the head, and save a lot of people in this country. Ten billion a year for ten years. It's a hundred billion dollars, a lot of money. Yeah, so we wrote this up. And I took it to my Republican colleagues. I said, you know what the answer was every single time? Great idea. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. Now, they never said this part, but they can't afford it because they just gave away a trillion and a half dollars to giant multinational corporations and billionaires. Because the Republican view is more important to give away a trillion and a half dollars to giant companies than it is to make sure that Americans have basic health care that they can afford. That's just not right. The second place I went to is a detention center. There are bigger cages of little girls. And there are similar cages of little boys. And then there are the cages of mothers with babies. We have to be willing to say, as a country, we're not going to separate children from their parents, and we're going to treat people who come here with some basic humanity. I'm very concerned about climate change. Me too. And I feel like it's too late, and I'd like to hear what you think about it. The position we're in is by the deliberate design of people who make money by fouling our air and poisoning our water. And they have seized our government by the throat to keep us from making the changes we need to make to pass on an earth where our children will be able to breathe the air and drink the water. Can you get more of your Republican colleagues, either in the Senate or in the House, to change? Yes. There are things we can do together, but Republicans are fine if tens of millions of Americans lose their access to health care. They're fine if people with pre-existing conditions are discriminated against and can't afford health care. They're fine if Medicare gets cut, if Medicaid gets cut. Not their problem because they can go out and buy it for themselves. Well, Democrats believe that health care is a basic human right, and we fight for basic human rights. For the last two years, there's been a lot of Democrats stopping things from happening, which is good and important, like the health care and all that. But it's also going to be important to get things happening once yes. you take back the House. And I want to know how you can do that and how we can support our representatives in doing that. The very fact if you've got one of the chambers, means you now get to start driving at least part of the conversation. To be able to get a real bill started and to be able to have a vote in a chamber and force people to stand up. And that permits it to take us to the other house and permits us to put pressure on the administration. Yes. I am not giving up. 
because I am in this fight out of gratitude. I am deeply grateful to an America that invested in a kid like me. And I am deeply determined that the way I will repay that gratitude is I will do everything I can to make this America work again. America's back is to the wall. The kind of country that we believe in, the kind of country that we want to be, that's at risk now. It has all been put at risk. And that means that each and every one of us is called on. This is our moment in history. And those who turn away, those who say, well, I'm just discouraged, those who say, I've given up, those who throw their hands in the air, those who say, no one's been perfect, no. We can't afford that in America anymore. We have to be an America that